Hi there, it's Anthony from Evolution Series. In this video, we're going to take a deep dive and look at these beautifully expressive stringed instruments. We have two here, the violin and the cello. And there really is something lovely, raw, and human about these performances that we've captured. It truly is a pleasure to play. So without any further chatting and speaking, let's dive on in and have a listen. So first up, we have the violin. So what is cool here is that we've got a very subtle, beautiful swell that goes, that is just very simple. And then if you play harder, you can jump into this more slightly vigorous, random bowing swell or sustain with vibrato. So for example, And I'll just play a single note of that random bow for you to have a listen. It really is quite a useful technique. And when you start stacking and playing chords, you can get this lush soundscape going on. And here we have just a more basic, traditional sustain with and without vibrato. really is quite beautiful and soft. One of the key things we wanted to capture with both the violin and the cello was focusing on the more softer end of the spectrum, not going too crazy and dramatic and loud. We wanted to capture the beauty of the musician bowing softly and capturing that lovely resin and warmth. And as you can see here, if we click on one of the boxes, you can see all the different types of um, articulation. Uh, CS is consort, and then you can see uh, SPC is cell ponticello. So we've captured uh, focusing on more of that muted tone technique than the traditional sustains you would often hear for a lot of stringed instruments. So let's keep moving on. So we've got an emotional swell. those ones there. And we have some trills, swelling trills.
That was a tone trill, so this is a semitone trill. So a little bit more spooky. Now on to some Sal Ponticello. This is a combining two different techniques. One, if you play softer, you get like a random bow. And then if you play louder, you get random bow to a tremolo. So let's have a listen. just something really lovely and magical about those ones. And here we have Random Bow with a Tone Trill. And a semitone trill. harmonics One thing I love to do with this technique is it's a wee bit more sound effecty but you take that and get the plugin called Black Hole and run it through that and you get this bloom of uh, harmonics. It really is beautiful. It's a great one. I use that all the time just as a blend with other sounds and it just it really adds this organic um, liveliness that I just love. Some shorts. Some consort spick and brush. And then we have some short trills. And uh, another trill. And a different type of short there, ricochet. and some effects.
So there's a lot of cool effects there. Now, currently, uh, we're in solo mode. Now, what we've done is we have three different things here. We have stereo mode and combinations. Stereo, what we've done, and we've done this throughout some of the other instruments, is we've taken the articulation, say, the swell, emotional, or any of these, and then because we've got two, at least two round robin, we've taken one round robin, put it on one sp throughout one speaker, and then we've taken the other round robin and put it through the other speaker. And we've kind of created this kind of uh, doubling effect, which gives it a really cool stereo image. And because we've taken this more lively approach to sampling, no sample is exactly the same. So if it's a swelling thing or it's a random trill or whatever the case may be, they're all a little bit different. And you're getting this these cool natural stereo inflictions where it feels like the sound field's alive. It's, it's really nice. So let's have a little listen here. basic sustain. And some swells. And another type of trill. Salponti cello. And another trill. Harmonics. Some shorts.
And on to the combinations. So those are really, really cool. And the interesting thing is, once again, if you're layering in different combinations to activate based on velocity or mod wheel, you can jump in between all those and create these beautifully lively performances. Some short combinations. And there we have it, our lovely little violin. So let's have a look at the cello. So here is our little cello. Like the violin, we've captured a number of very similar techniques, but just performed by the beautiful cello. So let's have a listen. girth of this beautiful low end in this instrument. It's tremendous. So let's keep listening.
Some nice uh, simple sustains. Now some emotional swells. tremolo swells and some trills and another swell trill Onto the Sal Ponticello. So we have the random bow vibrato and random bow to tremolo. Some random bow trill. And another type of trill. to harmonics. Shorts. Pits. Interesting little effects and some bonus body hits. And to get a general scope, this or well, these are all the different techniques that we have here. Now, like the violin, we also have the stereo affide version. Have a quick listen. So just a reminder, we took two round robin and then one in one speaker, one in the other speaker and created this interesting stereo feel.
I really love the Cell Ponticello. You get all these kind of slightly off harmonics, but in a crazy way when you blend them all together, it sounds cool. Now, on to some random bow trills. Semitone, trill. Those are the stereo versions, and finally on to the combinations. Here we're using uh, three different Sal Ponti cello sustain combinations, so jumping between all three different types depending on how uh, loud you play on the on the keyboard. So it really creates a lot of life in that performance.
So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed the sounds of our bowed colors, the violin and cello. So thanks for tuning in. And until next time, please keep safe. Cheers. <laughs>